Uh, I have no idea what take this is. So, huh? I can do this all day, I guess. going on everybody and welcome back to the channel and it's really great to see you guys again I know it's been a while since I've uploaded the video but I have a little free time up on my plate so here we are and today we are gonna do a Captain America related video um, so as you can see from the title and the thumbnail today we are gonna talk about my Avengers Endgame Captain America suit so um, a little bit of a background for you guys. Um, in 2019, I purchased a Captain America Avengers Endgame suit from a company called White Sheep Leather. So basically, White Sheep Leather is a, um, they make Captain America costumes as well as um, other characters like Batman, Daredevil, Green Arrow, um, Ant-Man, and other superheroes out there. Um, they've been known to be a costume company for a little while now. Uh, and um, they make really, really good Captain America suits and um, accessories as well. So I went to them in 2019 and I bought myself a suit and it was absolutely amazing. The suit looked great, um, it felt great, and I was really, really happy. But then in 2020, just a year after um, Endgame had premiered, I thought to myself, you know what, I think the suit needs an upgrade. I think um, there's room for improvement and let's try to make this as screen accurate as possible as we can. So I did that and at the start of 2021, at the start of the year, I purchased everything that I needed to purchase for the suit. Um, I planned it and I did my research and everything that I needed to make sure that this suit was screen accurate as possible. So today, in this video, we are going to talk about how um, I changed the suit, the upgrades that I put onto it, um, all the stuff that I changed, added, and took out, and all of that thing. So make sure that the suit is screen accurate as possible as it can be. So without further ado, guys, let's get to it. All right, so hey guys, so the first thing that we are going to talk about is the suit, uh, the base suit. Um, as I mentioned, um, that's really simple. I ordered it from White Sheep Leather. Um, it was their version one of the Captain America Avengers Endgame textured stretch fabric. So that's basically it. Um, and nothing really much more to that. And then next up is I ordered their... Um, I think these are, uh, I ordered the faux leather accessories. So it's, it's a complete set, which includes, um, all the leather accessories, uh, of the suit. So I just got, I just got, um, uh, I just got them yesterday and here they are. So, uh, first off we have the boot gaiters. This, these are just your standard boot gaiters. So basically you wear them on top of any black shoes, uh, that goes well with your suit. And here it is. Captain America doesn't really um, wear boots. He wears um, gaiters from, uh, uh, as you can see on the film. So these are um, more or less the screen accurate ones that um, they use on the films. And then next is you have uh, the belt. Uh, I am going to talk um, more about uh, the details on the leather parts um, in a few once I show you guys the suit. And then you have the harness, um, which goes over your your back and everything. And you've got the gloves. So basically, um, that's it. All from White Sheep Leather, guys. So I got all of this from White Sheep Leather. I'm going to put a link down on the description below on all the stuff that you guys are going to need if ever you guys want to start building your own Captain America costume. Specifically, this version of his... MCU suit. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and move on to the actual suit itself. So here we are guys, popped out the mannequin, put on the suit. So as you can see, everything is fully assembled with all uh, the pieces on the suit. But specifically, we are going to talk about the chest and the shoulder sections of the suit. So if you can remember from Avengers Endgame, Captain America has these 
scale, uh, chest uh, scale and shoulder armor, which is very reminiscent uh, of his comic book suit, which had the dragon scales uh, as armor, as protection uh, when he's out there fighting super villains. So I guess that was the look that they were going for in Avengers Endgame. So this um, chest section and uh, the chest and shoulder armor are made from urethane. So I ordered them from TJAX FX uh, on Instagram. You guys should check him out. He does tons of uh, amazing work um, when it comes to uh, urethane pieces for all your superhero costumes. So go ahead and check him out. So he teamed up with a fellow Captain America cosplayer named Matthew DC on Instagram. Um, so basically Matthew uh, modeled uh, all of the armor pieces and then TJAX FX uh, is the one who makes them. So when you order it from him, it comes to you as a kit. Uh, it, it comes to you in separate pieces. So it's like a do-it-yourself kit type of thing that you put on your suit. So very simple. Uh, what you have to do is just glue them onto your suit and then you're good to go. But of course, um, uh, when you order the kit, it comes with instructions. So what I did is that uh, I put the suit on a mannequin and then laid it flat uh, on the floor or on a table. But if you don't have a mannequin, that's fine. You can put a pillow inside the suit and then lay it flat. Just make sure that you don't glue the pieces, especially the, the chest piece, uh, on a flat surface. This is to ensure that the chest piece adheres to the shape of your body. So make sure that you have it on a mannequin or a pillow uh, stuffed inside the suit. So once uh, your suit is on a mannequin or there's a pillow inside of it, what you can do now is just carefully glued on the chest piece on to the suit. It needs a little bit of trimming as well and then you have to drill some holes for the snaps here um, so yeah that's uh that's one of the things that you need to do and then just trim a little uh trim the excess pieces where it needs to be trimmed and then after that you, you can go ahead and glue it on believe it or not i use cheap and nasty super glue to put all the pieces together but uh i can encourage you guys to also use gorilla glue or loctite um those are good brands as well but you know a cheap and nasty super glue will work fine just make sure that you guys glue on the pieces very carefully because once that thing is stuck to the suit there is no going back i am telling you guys so after that is the starburst so um what you're gonna do is uh you're gonna re remove the original metal star uh that comes with the white sheep leather and then replace it with the uh, more accurate urethane star so uh, the kit doesn't come with a starburst at the outline here, as you can see. Um, but what's good about TJAX FX is that when you order the kit, it comes with instructions as well as a template that you can print out, trace onto some three millimeter foam, and then um, you're gonna wrap it with cloth or material that's very similar to the color and feel of the suit. So. What I did is I wrapped mine around uh, using um, ballistic cloth that a friend of mine sent, which matches the color of the suit. So you just trace it, um, cut it out, wrap it into the wrap it with the extra material, and then glue it along with the chest armor, and then glue the star uh, onto the middle, and you're good to go. So basically, you're done with the whole chest section with. Uh, the shoulder is very easy. Let me just uh, twist this mannequin. So with the shoulders, just very easy. Uh, I glued it on, just, you know, pop that thing in there. And yeah, I just made sure that everything is aligned perfectly. Um, what other people do is they take out the shoulder belts that comes with the suit and then uh, glue the, um, the upgrade kit. But what, uh, I didn't do that because that's so much of a hassle. So what I did is I kept it on and then just uh, glued on the shoulder piece uh, and used the original shoulder belts as a template to make sure that everything is in its right place. So uh, just a quick note, when you're gluing uh, the shoulder pieces, make sure that the scales are facing outward um, because that's how 
it is, just make sure it's facing outward because uh, once you glued on and you glued it backwards, um, like I said, it's going to be hard. There's no going back once this thing is glued on. And then the Avengers logo, very simple. Um, just got a silver Sharpie, um, colored the Avengers logo, put on some super glue, and then pop that thing in there. And yeah, so basically that's how I apply the chest and shoulder pieces of the suit. All right, guys. So um, here we are. We I'm just uh, I just want to show you guys a closer look on the small details that I want to point out on the suit. So white sheep leather. First of all, the harness that white sheep leather uses. Um, really great. These buckles are actually made of metal. I thought uh, they were made of some other material, but they're not. They're made of metal. Uh, similar here uh, with the um, with the belt. Uh, and the pouches here. Um, these are also made of metal, which is absolutely amazing. Feels really, really uh, nice in general uh, when you have the suit on. And it looks really, really accurate too as well. But I think the, uh, the small detail that I'm really proud of is here in the abdomen section here. Um, you see the silver tabs right here. Um, if you look closely on the um, movie costume, Captain America's suit has these silver tabs on his abdomen. These didn't originally come with my suit when I ordered it from White Sheep Leather. So what I did is I tried to find a 3D file online. I do have a 3D printer and fortunately I did find one and I 3D printed them, painted it silver and then glued onto the suit. So. Yeah, just uh, to make it a little more screen accurate, uh, I went with doing the silver tabs on the abdomen part. So it's a really small detail, but I'm really proud that I was able to do it. So uh, I guess there's nothing left uh, to do than to suit up and show you guys how it all looks on me. So. Let's get to it. So here it is everybody fully suited up in this costume. So as you can see the leather upgrades from White Sheep Leather, um, the chest and shoulder upgrades from T-Jack Effects and Matthew DC. So um, putting the suit on, everything feels great. Um, there's a lot of mobility. I can move around with this thing. Uh, the great thing about White Sheep Leather suits is that because of their textured stretch fabric, um, the suit is very, very comfortable and breathable, so you can move around. And even with the 40 to 50 degree heat right now here in Manila, shooting at our garage with the sun all up, um, everything feels comfortable. I did sweat a little bit, uh, but that was from the helmet when I was shooting pictures um, from the suit. But um, regardless, everything feels great. Um, everything feels so soft and comfortable, even with the um, upgrades on, everything is just A-OK, -okay. um, especially if you're in uh, comic conventions and you're there walking around for a long time. This is definitely the suit to go. This is, um, it's, uh, it's not going to be a burden to wear and I think I can wear this for hours and hours. And yeah, so here is everything else. Everything looks really great. Um, I'm just really, really happy with how this suit turned out. I've been wanting a screen accurate Captain America Endgame costume for the longest time and I wanted to do this as best as possible and I think everything came out perfectly and how I wanted to go. So here it is and I'm just really happy to share it with you guys. All right, so here it is, the Captain America Adventures Endgame suit. Um, I'm just really, really happy with how this thing turned out. Huge, huge shout out to T-Jack FX and Matthew DC for all your work. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. Um, if you guys want to get the kit, uh, message T-Jack FX on Instagram. Um, he has an instruction on how to order um, the kit. So go check him out on his Instagram page. And also check out Matthew DC um, for all your Spider-Man facial needs and Captain America needs as well. He also does um, some work on Spider-Man. Um, specifically the facial, so go check him out. Um, white sheep leather, of course, for my base suit and all the leather upgrades. You guys have gone above and beyond for everyone, especially for me. 
thank you guys so much for this. Um, this wouldn't be possible without uh, you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. And lastly, um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, I hope um, you enjoyed it and I hope you guys liked the suit. Um, I'm just really happy that everything turned out the way I wanted it to go. So here we are and I can't wait for things to go normal so that I can finally uh, go back out there and be Captain America. It's been a really, really long time since I went out there and put the suit on and I'm just really excited to uh, bring this thing out there. So thank you guys so much for watching again and um, be safe um, wherever you guys are and I'll see you guys next time.